All right, let's talk about the weekend forecast. Last weekend of summer, John. No. It's hard to believe. It's kind of a bummer. It is a bummer. I just love the summer heat. And we are going to see some great weather to say so long to this beloved season. We still have to do with a, deal with a few clouds tonight, maybe even a stray shower, and then an instability shower on your Saturday. But hey, by and large, Saturday is going to be spectacular. I think you'll like it pretty in the city right now. A little clearing, 73 degrees, winds out of the northeast at 3. So here's the deal. A uh, nice little warm-up Saturday and Sunday. Normal 77 will be to both days. And a little less humid on your Sunday. That's an added benefit. Over the next few days, cool out west, but it is going to be above average for us. So I want to take a quick trip out west. A big ridge, so where they need the rain in California, still bone dry. A break for many of our neighbors in the Gulf. But, boy, right around Tampa and Point south dealing with some heavy rain in Florida. In our area, odds for rain really pretty low. Still leaving that 10% chance of a shower on Saturday. Onshore flow still, and we're going to talk about the wave energy in just a second. Big view for you on two shows a weak cold front, but we also have Odette. Just not a very potent or powerful tropical storm. Still cause for concern. The good news is it's heading that way. And that is good news. With its proximity to our area, we're concerned about the waves. So again, want you to celebrate, want you to head to the beach, please be careful. Dangerous rip currents, not only for the south facing beaches of Long Island, but also for the uh, Jersey Shore and also a small craft advisory, some dangerous swell. It can be very deceptive. This is a very potent system when it comes to wave action. So go enjoy, always use the buddy system. And if you get caught in a rip current, don't fight it. Timestamp here. It's Saturday morning. We're going to be at Ray's Luncheonette in Montclair, New Jersey tomorrow morning talking about um, uh, uh, Hunger Awareness Month and what some of the restaurants in our area are doing to help out. Maybe we'll see you there and we'll see some clouds to start. And then we see a mix of sun and clouds. There's that front I was telling you about. It's a relatively weak front. It's going to push through, stir up the skies, maybe an instability shower through Saturday night, but it's not a deal breaker. It's still going to be very nice. And then, ho, oh, oh, oh. high pressure sets in, camps out, sticks around, and wraps up summer with a smile and sun. We've got a nice way Monday into Tuesday, both looking very nice as well. So something to look forward to. Just a little bit of a hiccup as we work our way there. You know, some model guidance on future dew points. I know it's a little geeky on my part, but the dew points are doing the dance and they are dropping by Sunday afternoon. Air is going to be so comfortable and dry. And then by the end of the week, it's going to be cool. So savor it and then get ready to start raking because fall arrives on Wednesday. Thanks for that, John. Yeah. Break out the cardigans with those 60 degree temperatures, cool. right? Yes. All right. Jumping thank you, John. A pile of leaves. All right. <laughs>